just as I decided to <laughs> film the dinner, I witnessed a disagreement. I was wondering why they have those scuff marks on each other, and I see that they're fighting. Wow. See those symmetrical lines on the back? And so somebody else biting his back. Well, I wanted to show you how they eat. They eat now very, very, very well. I'm really happy with how the five American yields eat. Louis, I never worried about. He's a hog. But the yields have really changed their feeding behavior in this tank. They heat in 1800 gallon all the time and uh, almost never ate anything, maybe a few pellets here and there, even that accidentally. But now they appear to have taken to the pellets real well. and they eat a lot of them and they eat greedily which I didn't expect it's down there below he smelled the cup the look of that. They came from a farm and they were fed sinking pellets at the farm so I didn't have to train them to take pellets. They actually take fish kind of funny, fish pieces. I have to train them to take fish pieces even though they take them more or less on their own but more of a less than more. As you can see they're, they love the pellets now. Now that they're in the 240 gallon. So those double marks, double scratches on each side, that's them doing it to each other. Alright. Now I know for sure. I thought maybe they were just scratching themselves on the rocks or on I mean on the on the concrete blocks. But they're suspiciously symmetric on both sides of their backs. Sometimes I see little marks on the muzzles, on, on the snouts too. So that's them figuring out something. I don't know why. Never seen him fight before. But then again, I haven't. We haven't had him that long yet. Maybe a couple of months. Month and a half. Yep, I see there is some terror in the tail.
kind of messy, but high-fin uh, banded Chinese shark or loach will clean it up. It does a very good job at it. They've been feeding well maybe for only a week, maybe two, but I but I think I see the result in their body. I mean their bodies are rounder, plumber already. Which I'm very happy to see. Louis, the long fish. <laughs> I'm picking up crumbs now, it seems. It's not bad. Two heaping full tablespoons of pilots. New life spectrum sinking large spe large pilots. That has been their usual everyday amount for the last couple of weeks. Galper is still behind the divider. I have not combined them. I haven't gotten any feedback from anybody who tried to combine them successfully or unsuccessfully, so I, I don't want to be the first. And I share in all the concerns of everybody who expressed them that this is too dangerous. I do share that. My question was mostly towards somebody who tried to combine them and what the result was. Nice little supper. Still ongoing. mentioned once in a while some of them are trying to get inside that pipe that's bringing out fresh water filtered water into the tank it creates a horrible sound and the water spewing everywhere but they can't really get inside there as many times as they tried they cannot 
The flow is too strong and the pipe is too small for them. I mean, not for them, but the pipe is small and hence the flow is very strong. Inch and a half pipe and 2500 gallons an hour. I do keep the lids weighted as you can see with wood. decent length intestinal tract I don't, remember, I don't remember if I've ever shown it the anus and lung fish is not centered it's right there on the left on the left side of the body, behind the rear lobe fins. It's kind of strange to see a non, an off-center anus, anus, whatever you, whatever you say it, anus, anus. We're gonna, we're gonna call it a feeding 